Hi there, in this video, we'll learn how to effectively use Bash built-in features for performing string manipulation. Uh, for doing the, for performing the string manipulations, many a times people would use external tools like cut, SED and so on, but a couple of these can be done as with built-in features in Bash, and I'll explain that. And all of these falls into a category called parameter expansion. What is parameter expansion? It's all about expanding value of a variable. So if I have a variable in Bash created like this, if I say A is equal to 100, you can always expand to the value of this variable by using echo. If I just say A, it's just going to print back A. If I say echo dollar of A, like this, it expands it. In fact, many of you might say, why not say simply dollar A? Yeah, you can say this. But for simple variable expansion, you could actually use this syntax. But when you use curly braces, it opens up an interesting possibilities. First of all, you probably have a double quoted string where I want to let's say, um, let's say I'll just say dollar ABC. Let's just see what happens. It does not give you any output. You can see there's no output being listed in here. But if I put this dollar A within curly braces, it'll expand the value of dollar A, though it's a part of another substring. So you get this particular kind of benefit. So you can just see that dollar of A got expanded to 100 followed by BC. So this syntax of dollar curly braces and the parameter, parameters are then what or what you call as variables, right? Shell variables are called, are called as parameters in the shell technical documentation. So this call is expanding parameters in a shell. So what are the different syntaxes that are supported? You know, I'll just do one thing. I have a very long prompt string. I'm going to just reduce it. I'm just going to say PS1 is equal to just keep dollar. Okay. So I'm going to keep the prompt string very simple so it doesn't take up most of the screen space. So as I said, if I just say echo dollar of A, all small letters, of course, shell is case sensitive. Get the value 100. Now, if at all, I want to find out what all shell variables exist or environment variables exist start with a particular character you could actually use echo dollar exclamation let's want to look for all shell variables and start with p just say p like this well it's just invalid uh, uh, expansion let's say p star yeah okay you need to use wildcard you may use exclamation p it basically indicates that there is no expansion supported in here so when you use exclamation you need to provide wildcard like expansion or path name like expansion. You say P star, it'll show up all variables that start with P. I want to see all variables that start with, let's say, T. I can use capital T like this. There's only one variable that starts with T. You want to see what the value of the variable is, you can say echo dollar term. Of course, for simple use case, you can say echo dollar term as is, but using curly basis gives you the benefit if it's a part of some substring. Right? You can be part of a substring. This is one of the advantages that you see here. But when you use curly braces, some special syntaxes are supported. One, we saw exclamation and provide a pattern to indicate what variables you want to expand starting with so-and-so character. Uh, there's another feature that's there. Let's assume that I have a variable which has got some data, say, hello world. So echo, I say dollar of A, it means hello world. If you want to find out the length of the string represented by this variable, how do you do that? Well, traditional approach, if you if you come from the traditional bone shell background or very simple shells, you have to actually manually say echo dollar a pipe wc minus c. And yes, echo will add a new line. You need to make sure that the new line is not added. So you need to put echo minus n dollar a pipe wc minus c. But if you're using bash, all you could do is you could say echo dollar of hash a this is how you can find out the length of a string to summarize to find out length of a string just make sure the string is in any variable make sure you put the string in a variable so you can just say maybe i want to find out um, the length of output of some command right how many characters a command's output is let's say i want to find out the length of uh, output of a command let's say who am i right i'm going to run a command called who am i i'll say dollar of who am i like this So output of command is now represented in A. You can say echo dollar A. Now to find out the length of the string, you can say echo dollar hash variable name, the parameter name. This tells you that the length of the string is 10 characters. 
Many times when you have a string which is made up of large number of characters, you might want to do some very basic substitution. So how do you perform the substitution? This is a very common use case. Let's say I have a path. I'll just, I'll just say maybe represent a path. I'll say, um, you know, I'll just provide dest or destination is equal to. I would just say slash home slash um, tundra slash projects slash test file dot txt. Now this is a variable. Now you can see that when it's a dollar dest, it shows us this variable. The variable value is this string. In this string, I want to substitute the word projects with maybe work, right? So maybe I can just change this to work. So how do I do that? You can actually say echo dollar dest forward slash projects slash work. Okay, let me show you another example. Here the path was having forward slash, so some of you might be confused. I'll give you another simple example. Let's say I have A is equal to this is a test string with repeated test word test number of times. Right? So I have a long string here. And you can see the word test is being repeated multiple times. If I now try echo dollar A forward slash a forward slash is a syntax for pattern based substitution you can say dollar a test with new and close this way and now we can see the first occurrence of the word test is now changed to new but you can also note that all other occurrences are left intact it changes the first occurrence of a pattern right first occurrence of this pattern is changed with this replacement if you want to change all occurrence of the pattern, all you could do is you can actually put a double forward slash like this. This will change all occurrences. You can see that? It replaces all occurrences. So it, it, you can see that uh, uh, test became new and you can say another test also becomes new. Another test, so all the three occurrences have changed to the word new. You could also use other technique. For example, um, you could, uh, uh, what if I want to, let's say, uh, change based on not a word, exact word but maybe based on a wildcard like pattern let's say i want to change a pattern which involves a word a, a character that's called s followed by any character followed by g oh actually if i say s to g right it took this s from here all the way till this particular Okay, it went all the way till where? I think it went till almost the end. Did it go to the end? It put, um, I think THI is taken in and it says new with repeated test. So it means it looks like it went till here, right? No, I think new. Again, another occurrence has changed. You can see this. It changed all occurrences. You can see, yes, it changed all occurrences over here. So. This is what this wildcard does. This wildcard sometimes it gets totally messy if you use it, but then you can also try out another technique. Let's try, maybe I'll try with um, hash. Will it work? No, hash doesn't work. You can only use wildcard as asterisk in here. For simple use case, this might help, but if you have repeated elements, this might get a little messy, right? Uh, but however, you can uh, use it for one purpose I can think of. One of the places where this wildcard is useful, not asterisk. More than asterisk, I find uh, Character classes could be useful in some cases. Let's say D is equal to, I put some characters, I put some digits, I put some characters, put some digits, characters, I mean digits and characters, right? Letters and digits in here. Let's say I want to replace all digits to something else. That can be done very easily. You could say echo dollar of D and you can say forward slash, just say zero to nine. Zero to nine is representation of a character class according to the wildcard expansion rules that we see shell globbing rules right so replace a zero to nine with anything else maybe i can just put let's say uh hyphen it changes the first occurrence you can change all occurrences you can just put, put, put double forward slash all occurrences are changed sometimes i want to just replace a string that starts with a pattern with something else like in regular expression, you use cap symbol, right? So start with. So if you want to do that, uh, maybe I have this particular variable called A. 
Remember, all of these replacements will not modify the original parameter. It returns a result which you can store in another parameter. Like you can say B is equal to, you can say dollar of A, right? Forward slash test with new. You could do something like this. This is how you can store the result in B. So this is A and this would be B. Right? Now, if all I say, if all I type, echo dollar A and um, if I just provide forward slash I put a hash symbol here and put this forward slash and I just provide um, test it replaces the word this assuming the word this is in the beginning is the beginning if you try with maybe a word called is for example it's not going to work because it the, the string does not start with the word is it starts with this this is like if, if the pattern starts with whatever you pass in here substitute with this replacement that's what this indicates so you can use hash to indicate starts with pattern you can use end with percentage to say end, ends with pattern for example if at all i try to say um times and i put a percentage in here with test oh it didn't really work did it so i think it didn't work in this case i think this percentage is supposed to have worked i'm trying to see what is wrong in here okay dollar of a okay i'm got a minute is it percentage times is it okay yeah my mistake so when you say a percentage times you know when you use regular expression you end with a dollar and you start with the cap so sometimes i get confused in that particular aspect sorry about that so just know that if you start with a percentage and you pass a pattern the string must end with that pattern only then it'll update it suppose if at all i try to look for a pattern that's a percentage with not going to work with is they're intact. If if the if the string ended with the word with, then I replaced it. Right? So this is how you can use this. Some places where I find where I could find this useful is let's say if all I have some if I if all I say um D path is equal to slash user local src um you know Linux table slash make file. Let's say echo dollar off D path. It gives you this entire entry, right? If I now try to say echo and, uh, you know, D path, I say, I just put a forward slash and I say percentage M star. Let's try this. Yeah. So when I say percentage M star, you know what it does? It looks for the last occurrence of a capital M followed by anything. So everything from there, it's because I didn't put any substitution, it's removed. Let's remove that right so you can actually use this technique um, or you could actually use other other techniques like where you can say maybe i could say hash i could just provide star forward slash no i think maybe i should use backslash forward slash is it yeah. you actually can perform this kind of acts by using some commands like dir name and base name we say day or name dollar d path or base name dollar d path you achieve a similar behavior right but if you don't want to use these external commands like dr name and base name or for simple use cases you could actually use this kind of substitution if you're liking right so this is one of the use case and uh, another aspect is i told you about finding out the length of a string I told you how we can do pattern based substitution if an extract a substring from a string that also is possible suppose if at all i have a variable called uh, dollar a here so i can actually say echo dollar of a colon 10. when you provide an off when you provide only a number if you put a colon and number it will start extracting the string from that offset onwards but maybe i can just say a colon 10 colon 4 so if you start counting 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there's a tenth index the tenth index starts with the word test i want to get four characters from the tenth index so i say from the tenth index extract four characters it's like extracting a substring from a string so when i extract the first 10 characters 
you could say echo dollar of a colon zero colon ten or simple substring operations can be performed by using the same parameters so you don't have to worry about uh, using any other tools for doing this you can just directly do it in the bash parameter expansion right the last thing you can do is you can do very basic case conversions for example if i just say echo dollar of a i'll say at small u the first letter is capitalized if we use at capital u it capitalizes the i mean it converts the entire string to uppercase if you try if you have an uppercase string maybe i'll store this as another variable let's say b is equal to right if we say echo dollar b you can also say echo dollar b at small l will make the first letter i think small l is not supported sorry it's capital l can let you convert the entire string to all lowercase you know but for uppercase you can only make the one character uppercase or make the entire string uppercase small u or capital u for lowercase conversion you can use capital l for converting the entire string lowercase so case conversion can also be done directly by using parameter substitution so this is some useful features that you might find convenient to use when you're formulating shell scripts specifically for bash shell you should also note that some of these features are not supported by other shells like z shell or if you try with friendly interactive shell and so on so many other shells might not support these features these are features specific to bash z shell has its own way of managing parameters which i will try talking about in a future video but for now this is what you should know about bash parameter expansion in summary you can find the length of a string you can substitute a substring with something else right using parameter expansion you can also extract a substring based on the offset and the length from this parameter expansion and you can also do basic case conversions using this these are the these are the common patterns that can be quickly achieved using parameter expansion all right i hope this hope you find this video uh, useful if you do like the if you do really like the concepts i'm covering please do comment please do comment on uh, what are the, what kind of videos you are looking for and i will make videos accordingly thank you very much hope to meet you in future future videos thank you